was my thinking. I'm still <laughs> old school in many ways. Yeah. Yes. My name is Christine J. Skirgley, and I am the Fort Monroe Brack representative for the United Daughters of the Confederacy. The UDC's objectives are historical, benevolent, educational, memorial, and patriotic. We are a patriotic organization. We began each meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. We are dedicated Americans, Americans who honor our past and present military members in so many ways. As an example, the UDC recently donated several track chairs to injured service men and women so they can compete in sports and outdoor activities. These track chairs are effectively for one person all-terrain vehicles. They are self-propelled with caterpillar tracks that allow complete mobility. When post-25 of the American Legion brought the Vietnam traveling wall to the Virginia, Museum, Virginia War Museum, my chapter presented a wreath-laying ceremony in honor of the fallen Vietnam War soldiers. We invited the DAR, who sent several state representatives to join us. Those of you who were there may have heard the beautiful singing of the national anthem sung by a UDC member. The UDC has supported Fort Monroe and the Casemate Museum since the creation of the Casemate Museum in 1951. The UDC, both national, state, and local, have continually supported the Casemate Museum through donations, through donations both financial and with works of art. The portrait of Jefferson Davis in his cell, which hangs over the mantle of the Casemate, was donated by the UDC. The UCC also donated a plaque with the names of the sailors on the CSS Virginia and a plaque honoring the Union soldier, Dr. Craven, who cared for Jefferson Davis during his incarceration at Fort Monroe and, of course, the Jefferson Davis Arch and Park. The Jefferson Davis Arch and Park were erected as a project of the centennial celebrations of the war between the states. That is the only reason that it was erected during that time period. The Jefferson Davis Arch and Park was a gift to the troops and their families stationed at Fort Monroe. Besides the arch, the park originally contained a barbecue fire pit, picnic tables, and benches for our servicemen and women to enjoy with their families. The, US, the UDC also gave many items for Jefferson Davis's casemate, which were used at the opening ceremonies of the casemate museum, but they did not survive the ensuing years. All these items were given to the U.S. Army and accepted by the Army in good faith. During the process of closing Fort Monroe, the United, Day, United Daughters of the Confederacy was formally asked by the U.S. Army to participate as a charter and voting member of the, in the BRAC process. Not all participating groups were formally asked. The UDC was invited because we had always given to the Casemate Museum and to the U.S. Army. During the BRAC process, the Jefferson Davis's arch protection was guaranteed by the programmatic agreement as an integral piece of art within the moat. How can you have one nation under God if you're going to destroy history? The governor's letter, Fort Monroe, is more than, to me, more than just this one time. This is, this is just one celebration of which happens at Fort Monroe, 1619 or Jefferson Davis. You removing the arch is another step to divide the nation. I know a lot of people will be upset and they, don't, they won't all be people who belong to any Confederate organization. I think it is wrong of you all to even consider and I am appalled at the letter from the governor because we have as much right to have our things that we have given in good faith be protected as anybody else does to have put anything at Fort Monroe. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you.